What is human cloning? The idea of cloning is very simple. A, a clone is simply a copy of something else, and, and you, you've come across it almost certainly in, in terms of credit card theft. You can have your credit card cloned by somebody who's then got an exact copy. Uh, and when we're talking about cloning in a biological sense, we're talking about making identically genetic copies. And so this organism is exactly the same in what it's got in its genes as this one. And, and plants are very good at it. Um, so if you were to go out into the edge of the woods and look at stinging nettles, that each of those individual plants has been cloned from an original progenitor. And so you get effectively strands of, of stands of nettles, which are all clonal. Um, some animals are good at it too, that, that they simply divide. Um, simple animals simply divide their cells simple ones and animals and so the the new animal is a clone of the old one they're identical um, mammals are less good at it we only clone when we make identical twins but the key thing here is we're talking about genetic copies identical genes so in identical twins are genetic copies they're clones but what human cloning as if you like an, an interventive activity has done is to is to enable us to make genetic copies that are not made in the normal identical twin sort of way where both twins are the same age effectively although one twin will always argue I'm oldest I came out first but they're the same age really but what we've done with with uh, interventive cloning is, is to say I want to take the genetic material from this being who is already here and to make a copy of it and, and in order to do that you first take an empty egg or an egg cell and remove its genetic material and so it now won't go anywhere you know there are no genes to provide the recipes for growth uh, and instead you replace them with the genes that come from the already existing being whether it's a sheep donkey monkey or human and you put those genes into the empty egg now if you think about fertilization if it had been a normal fertilization, the egg would have had its genetic material and then the genetic material from the sperm, two sets. And so we've taken an adult cell that's got its two sets and put it in. And so the empty egg now is no longer empty. It's got two sets of genes, which are identical to the donor organism. And we've now got to persuade that egg with its two sets of genes to grow like an ordinary embryo. And that's really the technology. And if that, if that embryo does succeed and you can make a pregnancy with it and it comes to term then what is born in the case of Dolly the sheep, the lamb is genetically identical to the sheep that donated the genetic material, a clone so identical twins in genetic terms but not in developmental terms because you know, Dolly was six years younger than the you that gave the genetic material so that's what cloning is. Is, is, that clear, is that clear enough? Yeah, okay. So if we can do it with sheep, can we make a genetic copy of another human? And the answer in theory is yes. It turns out that for primates, it's become much more difficult. Um, I don't think there's been a really successful cloning of a primate, i.e. a monkey or an ape at all. Um, to term, there have been embryos have been made, but nobody has yet succeeded in bringing one to term. It's been successful with sheep again, with goats, donkeys, horses, um, cats, dogs. But the higher up the complexity scale we come, it looks like it's harder still. But in theory, it is entirely possible to clone a human. You know, I mean, these are technical difficulties. Somebody might want to, to do it one day. Well, there are reasons that people do want to do it related to stem cell technology.